look, a drone! And another one. And another one! Dude, since when have there been so many drones? What's up guys, Trisha Hirschberger here, and with so many drones on the market, have you ever wondered which one is the best for you? In this episode of DIY in 5, we'll break down the different types of drones to give you a better idea what makes each one special. If you want to see more drone videos, be sure to subscribe and see what's coming up next. Let's start off with the most affordable drones, toy drones. You might have seen companies like Parrot with their mini drones flying around, or the kiosk at the mall selling colorful little drones for under a hundred bucks. These drones are the least expensive of all, but are still fun to fly and can keep you entertained for minutes at a time. Why do I say minutes at a time? Well, it's because they only have around five to eight minutes of flight time. If you want to keep flying without charging again, go with a model that uses removable rechargeable batteries. Another cool thing is some of these toy drones have cameras and are capable of taking photos and even HD video. As a bonus, since these are relatively inexpensive, you won't worry that much if it hits the ground, disappears in a tree, or gets chased by your dog. Next, we have the racing drones. These are generally small quadcopters that are custom made and built for speed. The sole purpose for these is competition in new drone-focused racing events. These are not the same drones as the popular consumer drones that are used for taking photos and videos. Racing drones are custom built by owners and are modified heavily. Owners are always looking for new gear to tweak their drones to give them a competitive edge, just like any other racing league like Formula One or NASCAR. Racing drones cost as little as 200 bucks, but if you were to compete in a racing league, it's safe to budget around 800 to build a custom drone. Then, there's the kind of drone most of us are familiar with, camera drones. They are the most common type of drone. They take photos and HD video and are popular among photography enthusiasts and filmmakers. Camera drones range from $100 to $1,000 and up. The higher the cost of the drone, the better the quality. There are low cost drones on the market, but you're still looking at spending around $500 to get something that is stable in flight with an excellent integrated camera. DJI is probably the most widely known consumer drone maker out there and has versions available with built-in 4K cameras, obstacle avoidance sensors, and all sorts of cool tech. But if you're just starting, they have entry-level drones that use your GoPro and limited features to help keep the cost down. The last type of drone we'll mention is compact or foldable drones. DJI, GoPro, and other companies have started to develop a version of camera drones that are much more portable. They have many of the same features and price points of higher-end consumer camera drones, but can fold down to be carried in a small bag. If making sure a drone fits into your carry-on but can also shoot 4K video sounds appealing to you, then these are definitely the way to go. Now drone on, my high-flying friends! So what's the most you'd spend on a drone? 100 bucks? 1,000 bucks? Let us know in the comments below. Maybe we'll take a look at some drones in popular price points. If you want to see more, check out these other great drone videos. My name's Trisha Hirschberger, and thank you for watching.